Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain an American science fiction movie, called The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. There is a young man, named Arthur Dent. One Thursday morning, when he wakes up, the objects around him are vibrating by itself. Turns out that this is caused by construction workers who want to demolish his house to become a highway. Arthur, who doesn't accept his house being demolished, tries to stop the workers by lying down in front of them. Not long after, his friend, Ford, comes to his house. He then tells Ford that his house would soon be demolished by construction workers. Ford says that there is something more important than Arthur's house that is about to be demolished. He distributes all the beer he brought with the construction workers. After sharing it, they go to a bar nearby. There, Ford explains that he is not from Earth, but he comes from a different galaxy. He says that soon the Earth will be destroyed. Arthur does not believe all the words that were said by him. To convince him, Ford mentions a story of their first meeting when he first came down to Earth, he tries to shake hands with the car. At that time, Arthur who saw this immediately saved him and said that the car was not a robot that he could get acquainted with. Therefore, he is indebted to Arthur for saving him. He wants to repay his kindness by taking Arthur away from the Earth because the Earth is not safe anymore. Later, Arthur talks about his lover, named Trillian. They happen to meet at a party and began to get close to each other. Until one time, a person named Zaphod suddenly comes to the party and says that he comes from another planet. Because the time is running out, Ford asks Arthur to leave the bar. When they return to Arthur's house, it turns out that his house is currently being demolished. Shortly after, a very large strange spaceship appears above them. Panic occurs everywhere due to the actions of these aliens. When the spaceship reaches the atmosphere, Ford immediately rescues Arthur by hiding in one of the spaceships. As predicted, the spaceship can destroy the Earth very easily. Inside, Ford tells Arthur that they are in one of the Vaughan spaceships. Vaughan is one of the strangest alien races. They are not evil but they are easily triggered and like to interfere in a business. If they are ordered by their superiors, they quickly settle the problem. Vaughan is identical as a space patrol cop. Basically, they will act if they get orders from their superiors. Meanwhile, Ford inserts a strange object into Arthur's ear which is useful for translating all languages in the universe. Not long after, the Vaughan notices the two of them in the ship and immediately catches them. They are thrown into outer space, but luckily there is another spaceship that allows them to join inside. There, Ford is very surprised because he meets Zaphod who turns out to be his cousin. Zaphod is also the newly elected president of the entire galaxy. He managed to defeat Kavula who was also running for president. Not only that, he has two faces that each have a different personality. Arthur is surprised when he reunites with Trillian. Turns out she has been taken to outer space when she met Zaphod at the party earlier. In the meantime, there is outer space news when Zaphod was sworn in as the president. Unexpectedly, he stole a technologically advanced spaceship. Due to his theft, a vice president named Questioner teams up with Vaughan to bring him back. He deliberately stole the ship to find out about the planet named Magrathia. He then shows the ancient records, showing that millions of years ago, there was a race that questioned and debated about life in the entire universe. There was also a supercomputer called Deep Thought that could answer all their questions. There were two kids who looked like the leader of Magrathia coming to see it. They wanted to get answers about the life of the universe, but they were told to wait seven and a half million years to get those answers. Long story short, seven and a half million years have passed and now these two kids have come back to face Deep Thought. During that time, Margathia has been filled with inhabitants. The event is also greeted with enthusiasm by the residents. Because the two kids asked for a simple answer previously, then Deep Thought only answers 42. Instantly, everyone who hears this becomes confused to know the answer. It says that the questions asked by the two kids were difficult to understand. They only ask about life and the universe without explaining in more detail about their questions. The disappointing answer 42 remains a mystery until now. After hearing the recording, Zaphod plans to go to Magrathia to get answers about the universe directly from Deep Thought. When they head to the planet, they suddenly stray to Vilfotlvi led by Kavula. Arriving there, Zaphod asks Kavula where the exact coordinates of Magrathia. He wants to give the exact coordinates with a condition that Zaphod has to bring him a special weapon from the planet. As a guarantee, he immediately cut off one of Zaphod's heads. When they want to leave the place, the group of Vagan comes to bring the president back to his home planet. They think that Arthur and his friends have kidnapped Zaphod. Unfortunately, Trillian is caught by the Vagan and taken to their planet. The others quickly figure out how to save her. By using a mini spaceship, they immediately go to the planet. Soon, 
Trillian learns a shocking fact from the Vagan, that the Earth has been destroyed by them on the orders from the President, none other than Zaphod himself. She doesn't expect that Zaphod has the desire to destroy the Earth. Being accused of stealing the President, she will be executed by drowning her alive. On the other hand, they order a robot named Marvin to return to the spaceship, while the others will save Trillian. They begin to enter and make a release form for someone named Trillian on orders from the President. With the form given, the Vagan immediately releases her. He and the Questioner finally realize that Trillian and her friends are good people. They didn't intend to kidnap Zaphod, but there was only a misunderstanding between them all. After getting out of prison, Trillian is angry with Zapod because he has destroyed the Earth. Then they immediately leave the place. In order to be able to monitor Zaphod's activities, Questioner and Vagan decide to go after them. In the end, they all arrive on Magrathia. Ford, Zaphod, and Trillian manage to enter the portal to Deep Thought, while Arthur and Marvin fail to enter it. Therefore, they can only wait at that place. After they wait for a long time, suddenly a man named Slar approaches them. He is an expert in making a planet. He then invites Arthur to see the project he's made. At the same time, the others get to Deep Thought and ask about the universe, but unluckily it gives no answer at all. Because they don't get the answer, they just look for the weapon Kavula has ordered before. It is a weapon that has been specially designed to make whoever is shot say something or feel something painful. As they get the weapon, Trillian purposely fires the gun at Zaphod to find out the reason why he destroyed the Earth. It turns out that the destruction of the Earth was due to a misunderstanding between himself and Vagan. He says not to worry as he has prepared a second version of Earth which will be ready soon. Then they teleport to somewhere else. Back to Arthur and Slar, they are traveling by train to see Slar's project. He explains that he is making a second version of Earth and the new version of Earth will be finished soon. Then they tour the Earth where they see space workers working to fill the oceans, make mountains, and more. Slar also builds Arthur's new house. When he enters his house, his friends are already inside and they are eating. While they are talking, suddenly Questioner and the Vagans arrive outside Arthur's house and open fire. The group immediately takes shelter in a caravan, but unfortunately Marvin is hit in the head. Shortly after, Marvin wakes up again and takes out the weapon he has obtained in Magrathia. With that shot, the group of Vagan immediately collapses. They are taken back to their planet using a spaceship, while Zaphod reunites with Questioner. In the end, they decide to go to a restaurant at the end of the universe, while Slar and the other workers will complete the new version of Earth. They do not forget to add plants, animals, and humans like the Earth in general. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.